In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some twenty years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master.
That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can take us out of the castle. Find the secret passage beneath the moat bridge, so that we may escape Ashina Castle. When you've reached it, give the signal. I'll come as soon as I hear the reed whistle.
You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Hmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way, to run from the fated bloodline, is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You face Genichiro Ashina! I will not be defeated! I cannot!
A shinobi'd know the difference between honor and victory. The divine heir is coming with me. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the Divine Heir... Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. You're quite the strange one, yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. 
Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. You again. I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a run-down temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your Mission is, a warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? Very well. Right then. Let's go. They say, swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Have you noticed? This temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. Hmm. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. And this temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offer. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal.
I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamations? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. Hirata survivors. There are very few of us left. I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. I know you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're that good Sir Shinobi, sir, huh? Well, I haven't seen you since, well, since that night. What night? Hmm? <laughs> you don't remember? No. Ah. I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir. You and I? No, we've met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. Oh, you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> Here's some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all of the young samurai were away from home. It was a prime opportunity. <laughs> then, we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You, you were looking for something. At least, that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah, uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. You still looking for something? Listen, <laughs> good sir, for a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful. Uh, for a price, of course, I'm a, a merchant now, you know, sir. So. <laughs> I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hmm, since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools. If you could. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Harata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's... that's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. A fire shooting tube at the Hirata estate. I'll keep that in mind. I'll procure some goods with the coin you gave me. Look forward to it, good sir.
you truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. Hmm. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes. That will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. So, it's not a birthmark. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Huh. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. I still don't understand. It appears- Come and see me. I will. Goodbye. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, 
Break them into splinters. Swift foes. Bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You will understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? If you want more forms for that fang of yours, you'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. Something? Another time, then? I'll lend you shelter any time. <laughs> 